Now, ASEAN Secretary General Dr. Kao Kim Horn joined me for his only Australian television interview earlier today, and here's that interview now. Secretary General, thank you so much for joining us today. You're welcome. China's becoming a risky investment option for Western companies. The trade tariffs also making businesses think twice. Would you like to see Australia diversify, trade further away from China and towards ASEAN? You see, ASEAN has always been uh, promoting trade with all of its partners. So we would like very much to increase trade volume between ASEAN and Australia. And I think the current uh, volume of, of trade between uh, both sides are still, uh, of course, it's a, it's, it's a good number, but we'd like to see more uh, increasing substantially uh, in, in the coming years, if possible. Will the free trade agreement be the focus of your meetings this week? And what other outcomes are you looking for? Well, uh, it's not just FTA. This week is uh, we're looking at, on the one hand, is to look at the past uh, five decades, but also look into the future, what more we could do to capitalize on the existing uh, relations, uh, partnership and cooperation. Now we have the comprehensive strategic partnership. So what's important is that we have to uh, do more uh, by working together across the different sectors do you think the COVID pandemic and the aggression from China has shown us that it's important for countries like Australia to not overly rely on China and move towards ASEAN? What, what has been surprising to me is that the numbers uh, 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 in terms of trade between us and Australia has been somewhat minimal. Uh, we should do a lot more together. I think uh, we, we are very close neighbours and uh, we have been working together uh, for the past 50 years and I think it's important for us to capitalize on the economic uh, opportunity that we have now before us. Uh, ASEAN is a growing market. Uh, we have 671 million people ranking third on the after China and India and I think Australia should be looking at ASEAN more seriously. You're highly involved in dealing with Chinese aggression in the South China Sea. ASEAN is taking a lead role in negotiations over these disputes. How are you trying to resolve this? In the past few years, we've been working together on the uh, negotiation for the Code of Conduct or COC. Uh, at the moment, we agree on both sides that we should uh, have the COC ready before the end of next year. I think this is a timeline we're looking at. Uh, how fast we can go. The code of conduct is very significant, but there's also the question of China abiding by it. Do you think Beijing will? Well, again, uh, there's something that I cannot say, but what I can say is that once uh, we are parties to this uh, COC, we should have the political commitment and we should have the will to uh, implement the COC. But also, we can also say that uh, the COC is not a panacea for all the problems uh, uh, related to the South China Seas. I, I hope we're trying to resolve as much as possible, but uh, I think we shouldn't expect that this is a uh, panacea for all the problems. Indonesia's new president-elect, Prabowo Subianto, is a military hardliner. How worried are you about this election and how it will impact on democracy? I, you know, in fact, I... I I, I do not want to uh, go into the uh, what we call domestic politics of the member states. But what I can say is that uh, Indonesia has strong institutions, uh, a lot of experiences, and I believe it's uh, what transpires is the will of the people of Indonesia. And we have full confidence and trust in the leadership of, uh, in Indonesia. In terms of regional security, are you worried about Hamas cells emerging in our region? Uh, we are focusing very much on counterterrorism cooperation and I think including intelligence sharing. So I believe that uh, this is still the, hot, uh, the, hot work, the, the core work of ASEAN at the moment. Now, of course, uh, I'm not aware of this at all, but I, I believe that the law enforcement, but also in the intelligence sector, they would be able to, uh, to know and to work in, in, in to ensure that the region is free uh, of uh, what we call violence, extremism and, of course, terrorist activities. 
The Australian government under the coalition was very vocal about Chinese economic coercion and threats. Uh, the current government has taken a different approach. Would you like to see Australia be more vocal on Chinese aggression? It's up to Australia. Uh, for us in ASEAN, we have to uh, stay engaged with all our partners. China is uh, a partner of ASEAN as well. In fact, one of the comprehensive three partners of ASEAN. So I think we have to work together. Uh, any differences uh, that we have, we have to engage uh, constructively, uh, openly and transparently. Uh, this is how we do in ASEAN. We will continue the, uh, uh, what we call the culture dialogue and have the consultations. And of course, the policy engagement. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you.